What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This time, we get to open a god. Let's see if it's any good. Creatures cost one less. Reel the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, you're going to put it in your graveyard. That's... It's really not that exciting to me. Yeah. It's fine, but, like, I'm not... Like, this is four mana. What, how, how many creatures are really getting a discount from this? Like, Good point. I mean, I still think it's better. Like, I'm it's, it's a god, so I'm going to take it. But, like, I'm not thrilled about it. Treacherous Blessing. Oh, this is the draw three, uh, lose three. The problem with this is that in Limited, you have no way to really get rid of it. So you're just going to literally take a damage for every spell you cast from here on out. Yeah, it seems rough. So, I don't know. Um... Lagana Band Storyteller. Look, you can put your Nylea on back on top of it. But it doesn't matter because it's never dying anyway, right? So. Right. I mean, is it just Return Nature? Like, this is this pack's pretty bad. Is there an efficient way to get rid of this? I don't think so. I'm just going to take Return to Nature, I guess. Oh, wow. The Accolade of Affliction. That's, that's pretty sweet. Also, this card seems great. 4-4 four, for four, 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 but when you escape it, it has three counters on it. That guy seems really good for a common. That seems decent. It's just a 7-7 seven, seven that keeps coming back. That seems really hard to deal with in this format. I'm going to take the Acolyte because I think it's really, really good. What does it do? It's like a Golgari Find Broker. Oh, yeah. Typhon is the strongest common in green. Yeah, I think I think that's probably true. The Binding of the Titans. Left side! Strong side! You don't even get that because you haven't... Yeah, we watched... We watched, we watched yeah, it, yeah, we did. Each type of the top three cards of the library in the graveyard. X ups two target cards from graveyards. Uh, and then return a creature or land from your graveyard to your hand. That card just dirtles, man. It does dirtle. I like Omen of the Hunt. Just uh, put a search for a land and put it on the battlefield, then you can scry later. Sure. I also like Witness. That puts us in some three colors, though. I'll take Omen of the Hunt. This is the moment of the hunt. Oh, final death is nice. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Exiling target creature seems good. I like being it. How many of these have we seen so far? This is like the third one I've seen, I feel like. Uh, I like Farika's Libation. Sack a creature or sack an enchantment. Hey, look, it's a... No, I was going to say it's a black way to deal with that, that artifact that we just we just dealt with, but it's not. It's still not, so... Dang, man. I should have bought two juices. Are you getting tired already? No. Dude, your energy level is... It's pretty sad, man. <laughs> That's, you gotta get your life in order, well, man. Get, getting up at... Getting seven, up at what? 7.30 is rough. That's like a normal human being time to get up. But yeah, but when you're not used to it... Why don't you cry about it? I just did. Yeah, I guess you did. I guess we're just taking the 3-3 three, three for 3. Why don't you go also get another juice? A real meal. You know, you know what I'll Have you not eaten juice? a real meal today? No. Just that. How are you alive? Snack I had. I'm gonna go grab another juice. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Goodbye. What's Nyx Herald? What is that? What What did I miss? What does that guy do? Can you not leave the curtain like that when you walk out? So that like it's literally just a big like. Why do I? <laughs> is that good? Yeah. Be aware of your surroundings, Michael. I got up at 7 p.m. You got to get your Vader machine working so you can be... Yeah, I know, but he won't, so.
Another Fryrika's Libation, Nylea's Huntmaster. I think it's just a Libation. This card is actually pretty good when it was played against us, especially as an instant. Oh, wow, another one. All right, well, I guess we're just getting all of them. I don't think we're going to play three, but... I woke up at 11.30 and I was so happy. 11.30 p.m., my dude? Oh, Rune Scarred Berserker. Not great. Look at these blue. Literally, literally blue card, blue card, blue card, blue card, island. Uh, draw two, lose the... I'm just going to take the two drop because you don't have any two drops yet. Unfortunately, the Acolyte of Affliction didn't come back, so someone's like, I'll take that. No, not PM. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> I mean, that's a real Mike B thing to do. Oh, I wouldn't get out of bed till 6 o'clock. Man, this guy came back? I mean, I think this guy's actually just better, especially if we're able to splash him in the late game. I mean, Omen of the Hunt would help that. Oh, yeah, give me that. Count Muchula. I mean, hopefully, like, I know, guys, I, to be fair, I know I've been salty in the past uh, few videos about this draft format, but, like, um, hopefully you guys will understand where I'm coming from, where, like, a lot of the games are decided by me not drawing a second color or not drawing a fourth land or my opponents having really, really strong rares or mythics. And uh, I know I'm not, I'm not a big fan of being salty in matches because I think it's not appealing it's not fun to watch you know but um you know i you know we just had vintage cube which was like some of the most fun magic you can have uh and then you go into a draft format like this which is less powerful and less interactive and um you know the matches end up going the way they do and you kind of feel you feel a lot more helpless i think in regular draft formats than vintage cube like the vintage cube as i've said before multiple times like you have a lot of interaction there's a lot of there's a lot of gameplay there's a lot of responses and, and, and interactions that you can take due to the power level of the cards and the flexibility of the cards that just isn't present in uh in a format like this like you just kind of be like i'll slam my five four and you have a two two that's the end of it you know like and it's it's kind of it's it's much more academic destroy x artifacts or enchantments or gain twice x life like there's really not a good black card or a green card in this pack like you have grim physician which is terrible two two for two four three for four and five four for five and uh i'm almost tempted to just take the Eros's blessing because it's four damage and we can just splash it off of like omen of the hunt and be like four color green which I don't think is terrible. Because I think it's a lot better. Even even the blue cards are not that great. So. Anyway, the point is I apologize for being salty. And I, I hope it's not uh, ruining the, the experience. But I also don't feel like I'm getting a ton of views uh, on either YouTube or Twitch with the with these these uh, 
these Theros drafts. So maybe it's actually time to switch to like Pioneer regularly or uh, Modern regularly or something like that. Because I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it's getting the views that I, I feel like there's not as much interest as there. Well, like Vintage Cube was doing fantastically, but um, this not so much. I guess it's just Blight Breath Catobleepus. I find it reaffirming. It, sim it simulates my frustrations. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad I'm not the only one, like, that knows that feeling. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on Mike B. Michael B. Scavenging Carpe, I guess, is fine. One with the stars. Enchanting creature and opponent so kind of loses all their card types. It still has all abilities, but is no longer a creature. That's not terrible. I mean, how many colors are we playing, though? All we need is, like, one red and one blue for these. And we don't actually necessarily have to play this. Yeah, one with the stars is like removal. That seems fine. Standard seems good right now too. Wow, I had a whole article about why I do not agree with that at all. If you guys have not done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Feel free to join membership down below. It's a great way to support the channel on YouTube if you guys are YouTube watchers. And you can go to coolstuffinc.com and check out this article. It's called, Has Standard Lost Its Luster? Oh, Kernoros, Kunoros. Thank you. Spicy Nate, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, my dude. I saw a video of Vanifar combo deck that took like 10 minutes to sift through to get a combo kill. Yeah, that seems, <laughs> that seems like something. So Glimpse of Freedom is basically the Think Twice-esque card where like, I sell five cards is a lot. Now I'm tempted to just play this guy and play white too and now we're just five color green. Yeah, I'm game for that. Plus if we get any of the two drop guys, that's pretty cool, but I don't know where those are. So you'll have to... Also, there's not a single white or uh, green or black card in this pack. I'm just going to take Alter for obvious reasons. But... The nice thing about our deck is that there's no double colored cards except for this Catobleepus. Oh, there it is. There's your boy. All right, five color green it is. I too enjoy waiting for my opponents to finish their game of salt. It's just, it's, it's something, man. It is something. Discord and Piper's fine. I like that we've set ourselves up to be, to be, uh, to be able to play any rare that we may open. Don't put the blame on you. Blame it on the rain. Oh, Jmart, how have you doing this format? I've spewed literally 10k gems and can't figure dude, Jmart, I am I am with you, my dude. I am with you. Dude, I just it's I feel like I'm I'm playing decks that I, that seem good and then I lose to like either rares or mana screw. And I don't mean to say I'm I'm, I'm not misplaying. I've definitely misplayed in all the games that I've lost. In every game that I lost, I know I misplayed at least once. But my point is that, like, misplaying once or twice should not cost you entire games. You should be able to crawl back in, even through a misplay or two. Because your opponent's obviously, your, your opponent's likely to be misplaying as well at certain points. So that should balance out if you're not, like, egregiously misplaying, I think. But yeah, Brett, the thing I say in the article, or maybe I don't say it. But the point is, like, in, in formats like Modern and Pioneer, they also have these same, like engine injure interactions as standard does but the thing is like there's so much variety that if there's an engine deck in in modern or pioneer you're not going to play against it three out of five matches you'll play against it once or twice and then be done with it 
you know, or there's there's enough answers and there's enough there's enough things to stop that, so it's not a huge problem. Yeah, my last draft was super frustrating. They had the Josh. They had the one mana, um, the one mana shadow spear card, the the artifact the equipment that's like that's literally just like unflinching courage, and I was just like. Well, I can't deal with that ever, so. And I was just playing blue-black. Literally O2 makes me, yeah, it's super frustrating, dude. It's super frustrating. I had a really, I had a really sweet deck. It had the 4-4 the four, four flyer that, like, makes copies of tokens like makes copies of creatures when they die um we had the four or five flyer for five that you can flash in like the two rares and it didn't matter like they just played a five five flyer put the enchantment on it and just gained five every turn i was like got me My opponent mulled to five game three, went one, one drop, one, two lifelinker, turn two, the plus two negative one enchantment. And then you're in there like, well, I guess I'm dead. Thassa's intervention seems fine here. Double blue is rough though. I don't really want to, I don't really want a double blue here. Warden of the Chained is interesting, but like how many cards do we have that are actually going to let this attack? One, uh, two, probably not three. So two, we have two cards that actually make this attack. Other than that, this, I'm just gonna take that as intervention. I think it's strong enough to take here. Oh, La Labyrinth is interesting, but I don't really want it in the deck that like needs colored mana to this degree, so. There's an EDH party? Brett, I don't even have an EDH deck. What's EDH? I don't even have a commander deck. Ah! Just read your cool stuff article. It's spot on. Standard is really starting to ruin that. Yeah, dude, it's 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 really weird. It's just this feeling that's been building and building and building. And I've had a hard time articulating it. But, like, once I started playing Standard with this set, I was just like, oh, no, this doesn't feel good at all. I like this 2-1 Death Touch that mills you. How, what did you get, man? Let's see what Michael got today. It's got it's got B C double A aminos, zero sugar, C zero Q ten. Everybody knows what that is. <laughs> zero calories. It's vegan and it's got electrolytes, which are what plants crave. And it's a blue raz. It's also got three hundred milligrams of caffeine. Three hundred milligrams? Is that a lot? Uh, a cup of coffee has like ninety milligrams. How much does a thimble full of cocaine? <laughs> I don't know. I don't huh. know if there's actually any caffeine in cocaine. No. No, this isn't Bang. This is just uh, Rockstar's heavy caffeine version. Don't put the blame on. I do like Bang, though. Their cherry limeade's good. I bet you do, pervert. Oh, look. The Enemy of Enlightenment. This is what I lost to last round. Can only be bang. Wow, this is aggressive. Yeah, bang used to have like 350 milligrams of caffeine, but they like got in trouble or something, so they had to reduce it to 300. Brett, do you think Alex would have an extra commander deck? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take this because whatever. It's I think it's fine and limited and I lost to it. Whatever. I had a bang once when I was on a keto because... I thought it was a regular coffee. That was... Oh, jeez. <laughs> no way, lols. And the funny thing about Alex is that he... Br Alex is this guy at our local store that has, like, 40 Commander decks. And, like, he brings all of them every time he goes to play Commander. He has, like, one of those, like, Black & Decker boxes, like the plastic boxes. Which are great, actually. They're really great tools for storing Commander decks. And, um... Or Almost Magic decks in general. Now, Jesus. 60 Commander decks. I mean, to, to be fair to Alex, like, that's a reasonable way to invest your money. Like... Oh, yeah, you can... If you need money and you have 60 commander decks, like... You can... You that's can a make, good... Yeah, you can make some money back. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> I mean, if you consider, like, he could either buy commander decks or crack cocaine, 
I think he went with the right choice. I guess when you put it to that. Wow, I'm so used to YouTube that I was frantically trying to rewind, wondering what was wrong. <laughs> You'll never know. Oh, another Elysian Dryad? All right, cool. We're playing five color green here, my dude. That's what you've missed. I have three EDH decks and I already feel like that is too much. Yeah, you can reuse the cards too. I mean, the blow just all goes up your nose. It's true. It's true. I think three commander decks is about perfect. <clears throat> yeah, three is actually a good number because it gives you a lot of variety. How many do you have? Two or three? I have two. I'm working on a third. He's working on a third. And I haven't really finished the first two technically for monetary reasons. Monetary reasons? Yeah, some of the cards would be expensive, yo. Like what? Moat? No, <laughs> wow, no. I'm Library of Alexandria, Michael? Also, that's not legal. Library is not legal. <clears throat> They're just like random cards, like Academy uh, Rector is like 50 bucks. Damn near killed her, Michael. As soon as I said it, I'm like, he's going to make that joke. And he did. Random uh, stuff like pieces of artifact accelerant are randomly expensive. I want pieces of artifact accelerant, Michael. Like Mana Crypt's now like a, over $100 or whatever. I feel like Mana Crypt's always been <clears throat> hovering around that. Back when I first started playing, it was nowhere near that amount. Ma Mana Crypt is a card that threatens to go to that price every so often. Ah, wow, seven three for five. Jesus, what a monster! It's been pretty consistently over hundred bucks now, though, even with the reprint. I keep things the modern or less cost level. No OG duels, library, etc. Is Crypt like two hundred now? Jeez. Hides is thirteen. <laughs> Brett, it's okay. You're safe with us. I mean, if I had unlimited I money, like I probably one. would have like thirteen commander decks. Because, well, yeah, because you have unlimited money. Because it's like, there's a lot of sweet ideas and sweet commanders, you know. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, if I had half unlimited money, huh? Mm, okay. <laughs> what does that mean? And someone's really deciding over that those five cards. Well, it takes a while, man. You gotta make sure you get the you get the brain stem right and the turtle bird Chinese chicken and like you just wanna make it make it so you know you feel me what i know why do you do that randomly just letting you know i'm here boss <laughs> the fuck the robot like, vacuum was just like bip, bip. what It'll wake you up in the middle it's of never night? done that but like every so often it's just like does that noise and i'm just like what are you doing man i had a drumstick <laughs> and my brain started ticking once but at the time i was watching the x-files with no lights on and I was really like, man, I hope the smoking man's in this one. And he was, because he's in all of them, really. I wonder what percentage of X-Files episodes the smoking man is in. You guys ever watched the X-Files before? You ever seen that show? I've seen like two episodes. You've seen two episodes of the X-Files? I've seen the one with Brian Cranston. You it? fucking swine. Oh, that's an old one. And I've seen the one with the worm virus. The worm virus? Yeah, you sure not thinking know. about your mom? They showed it in some science class. She had the worm virus once. <clears throat> Look how many lands I've gotten. Good lord. We need two cuts, Michael. Tell me what they are. The red card. Why? How many ways do you have to fix it? Well, we got Traveler's Amulet. Okay. Two of these. Okay. Altar. Okay. Two Omen of the Hunt. Okay. And probably one Mountain. You can just look at the top of Hold this on, column. Hold on, I'm doing the math. <laughs> Computing. <laughs> okay, it's not the red card. How okay. good is that card? What does it do? Uh, you put on a creature, it deals four damage to a creature or a planeswalker, and a creature gets plus one, plus one. It's just That's a four really damage good, spell. Yeah. Okay, it's not that one. Next. The funny thing is that his name in the X-Files script is Cigarette Thank Smoking you. Man, just the abbreviation. That's that's hilarious, but it also makes a lot of sense. Okay, what about... He's in 44 episodes? That's a good amount. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate 23 months. Good lord, milady. Thank you so much for the resub. You are awesome. So you're just five color? 
Yeah, man. We're just rolling the what five. Base. Green black, probably. Okay. Oh, look, when we splash, you we can really want to this... play that double blue spell. No. Good, no, I don't. But I yeah, that's card. probably one of the cuts yeah. for sure. We could probably take altar out. I don't love altar. The funny thing is, we do have a god. So. I mean, when you're playing that many colors, I don't think you want to cut any way to fix colors. Watch your next spells on the line. Tom. What does Aspect of Lamprey do again? Uh, they make some discard two cards and it gives the creature you put it on lifelink. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's. I mean. Nothing do you need a 2 2 unblockable? I mean. I don't know. I don't like. I think Alter's probably the cut here. Because you already have double Alter's omens. There's three mana taps for any color and what else? If you control a god, a demigod, or a legendary enchantment, you gain a life. So, yeah. like, hmm. yeah, big deal. You gain a life if you have that out. But, like, Otherwise, also, it adds add your devotion to each color and each combination of colors is increased by one. That's not bad. And we have Cato Bleepus and Huntmaster and Nylia, actually. That's not, actually not bad. Is the god even worth it? The god? What? Yeah, for sure. Well, here's the problem. We have one, two, three, four. We only have five green. No, we have six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, that's, that's much better. Go on. Yeah. So creature spells cost one less, and you can reveal a top card of your library and see if it's a creature, and you get it. Yeah. Otherwise, you may put it in your graveyard. It's not bad. I can see playing forty-one. Yeah, just play forty-one. I have the smoking man on this one. All right, we're gonna play two of these. We already got one. No, we didn't. We play one of these. One of these. So six, five. I'm gonna play one more of these. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get two more. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, seventeen. Forty-one? Alright, this deck seems sweet. It's probably gonna lose immediately, but I think your problem's gonna be color. That's fucking so racist, dude. Unbelievable, man. Jesus, Michael. I also wolfed down a tuna sandwich. <laughs> just, you just bought a tuna sandwich and like ate it on the way here? Yeah. Okay. It was surprisingly decent for a 7-Eleven sandwich. Jojo Key is my wife. Just had to show up with a... What? Seriously? Spicy Nate? That's awesome, dude. Dude, you guys have been supporting me for a long time and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Wow, that's an awesome that's an awesome bit of trivia, dude. I that's super cool. I will keep this hand. Yeah, but the red splash is almost free. It is almost free, yeah. <clears throat> Mark, listen, buddy. You're getting real sassy, okay? Listen. Look, man, I'm just going to say it. Okay. This format was the cause of me being tired. Oh, it's boring? I think it might be. I think it is. I don't know what to do about it. It, it worries me because like I don't... If we were playing cube, I think I would be in it. This. You'd be... Yeah. No, that's fair. Because you were also getting the same way when we were playing Death Stranding, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were just like... Oh, I'm done. Oh, they're just going to kill my guy. That's pretty cool. I enjoyed that a good deal. Um, I hope they'll play some stupid idiot. Oh, gamblers. <laughs> I hope they play a big idiot. Yeah, this guy's got to go. Target sack a creature. That's a big enough idiot to qualify. Yeah. I'm not going to waste my turn. Ooh, a Travelers Spamulet. What do you get? Uh, Nothing yet. If we need a blue, we can get a blue. He was like, my dude, this is so boring, I would rather go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much... His brain was like, I ain't stimulated enough right now. <laughs> I'm out. Give him some fresh air help, too. Though. And for that reason, I'm out. Oh, you want a little fresh air? Should I open the window? I mean, if you want to. It's pretty cold, though. You mean chilly? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. What? Exactly. I don't understand. Exactly. 
I mean, we basically have four removal spells, three removal spells in hand. Like, if we get a second black, we can kill this guy pretty easily. Oh, we're playing Ted Danson? Wow, that's pretty sweet. I just saw Ted Danson on, uh... I don't think there are any Wawa's. I don't think you Wata's, Utah's a Wawa state. Do what now? <laughs> I'm sorry, do what now? You heard me. Yeah, let's find out. What format would you prefer, Pioneer? You like Pioneer? I like Pioneer. Okay. Pioneer, near, 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 near. I guess we'll bleep us. I guess we'll bleep us. Blues us. Blue, blue. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy's getting countered. They're just deciding which counter to use. What's cold in Florida? It's cold right now. It's uh, currently... Well, actually, it's... Yep, there you go. Oh, sure. It's actually 55 right now. And that's pretty cold. Also, there's wind, so it feels a little colder. Wind? That's crazy, dude. I ain't never heard of wind. You must be from the stupid. Yeah, when I woke up, it was it was real chilly. It was like 40s in the morning. 40s in the morning while I eat my biscuits. <laughs> <sighs> that just sounds like something I would say, so. Wah, wah location it's not there's not gonna be anything i'm just checking it was like bread dude it was it was, <clears throat> it was pretty chilly this morning we had to turn on the heat those are the days where we eat our biscuits in the morning wasn't that the song you used to sing yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh michael it's not funny don't laugh I'm gonna get my island. Gonna play my island. Thank you. Fancy art. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. I, it got. It was so cold. I got a warning about iguanas falling out of trees. Us too, dude. Are you in Florida? Yeah, I saw the the news. They were like. Beware, there might be iguanas falling from trees. Really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Because they're, they're cold-blooded, man, so they can't regulate their body temperature. You know what I'm talking about? That is how reptiles work. You know what I'm talking about, Michael? Michael. Michael. You know what I'm talking about? Michael. I've heard of drop bears, but drop iguanas? <laughs> What's a drop bear? You never heard of a drop bear? No. Look at the Australian drop bears. No. Are you talking about goats? You know those goats that just fall over when they're... Drop bears are mean. They're not real. Oh. Oh, look. They have a counter spell. Whirlwind. Oh, oh, that's his intervention. Sure. Now I'm good, I guess. Big old cat obleepus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we draw our... Cool. Can we draw our, our big fat dot? Mm, okay, well, that's a thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, nope. Okie dokie, Smokey. Artichokey. Not enough to do in flip. Yeah, no flips. Dang. <clears throat> Let me get rid of the floaty boy. Thirty-three here, and I'm literally sitting around in shorts. Welcome to the Midwest. Wait, why is that a Midwest thing, though? I'm more used to the cold, I guess. Bosom cattle bleepus. I don't need no one. I'm just gonna draw. Oh, I'm 
the Pied Piper. Look at me. I'm the Pied Piper. Oh, my creatures cost less. Oh, that's gas. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. And now I can look at, I can Nylea again. I get tilted every time you guys talk about weather with your measures because you use Fahrenheit and Harry Celsius. Oh, yeah, you're like, 55 degrees. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> yeah, 55 degrees Celsius would be like really hot, right? Let's find out. Hotter I'll, than. I'll use the internet. I'll use the internet. <laughs> hey, you choose the internet? Uh, yeah, put that in the graveyard. I don't need that trash. Uh, that would be 131 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Do I want to put this in the graveyard? One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, probably. That's not going to do anything for us. Oh, you cost one, actually. One, two, three. Graveyard? Oh, yeah. Play you. I'm the Pied Piper. Look at me. <clears throat> 55 Celsius is the scientific melting point of rats. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red trip? <laughs> I've never, I've never had been able to do that. You will one day. God, I can't wait. It sounds like it's going to be a good time. Hmm. I wish that was the life gain one, to be honest with you. Oh, it's only three, huh? Uh, yeah, you can go in the trash can. Send them on down to trash can. I'm looking for my dog. Yeah, I found my dog. <laughs> I'm looking for that doggy, doggy, dog, the dog. Snoop Doggy, dog. That's my name. I just tuned in and heard the rat train. Send them on. Oh, of course they have a counter spell for it. Oh, they're digging. They did not have one. <coughs> the dog. Oh, yeah. Mikey and the dog. Oh, they're just going to kill it now because they have the answer in their two cards that they've drawn. Nope, they're still looting. All right, guys. We have a chance. It's possible. Okay, another mis mischievous chimera. Playing the old hunter drum. Send them on down to hunter drum. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the hunter drum? Yeah, this is fine. I don't care. Give me a removal spell so that our guy can. That's no. That's no. I hate you so much. That is my favorite no. What does that mean? This is my favorite no. What does that mean? What do, you, what do you mean, jerk? Jesus. You're like this. You're like a real piece of bread. Pizza bread? Oh, you're a little pizza bread, Michael. Yes. <clears throat> Let me gain some life arenas. I'm the Pied Piper. Look at me. This guy doesn't have death touch? That's stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Death Touch, Life Link, Vigilance, Flying, Horsemanship, Trample. What about Flample? And Scoot. Oh, it's got Scoot? Yeah. Wow, Scoot's one of my favorite abilities. How'd you gain so much life? He has Life Link. Yeah, but you only got all three, right? No, Michael. The cards the cards I play have abilities. Oh, nice. That's rad, bro. I know, bro. Bro, you gain, like, way more than three. How much more? to say how much more I think it was were you at 3 I think you were at 3 so you went to 11 
Is it possible you can just add the devotion on the board up? Maybe because it's oh. two? No. That's not possible. All right, well. Oh my god, dude. Come on. It's going to be the red enchantment. You ready? Oh, it wasn't. Hmm. So close. Have you played a land yet? No. Nice. Do I attack? Yeah. I guess I hope you don't kill my count. I get countered my kill my counter. I hope you don't counter my kill death spell. I'm the pipe, Michael. All right. Now is the time. You only have eight cards in your deck. You don't think I can win in eight turns? Um, currently, no. What top notes are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> what top note? Vanilla. Cream. Sugar. Top notes. I gotta say, I'm loving the amount of singing I'm here. It's Hajgulashi. I love you, buddy. You're my favorite. He's your favorite? Well, man, you're going to make people jealous. <clears throat> I'm the Pied Michael, Michael B. Top notes. Tiny Bites for the win. And for... Oh, they played a land, so now my guy's bigger. Oh, they're going to discard this anyway, so... Oh, yeah. What are you doing, man? You just measuring your hand? Mm -hmm. Jesus, how do you get this weird? It takes a lot of practice. I'm a weird guy. You think there's any more, any more lands in my deck? Let's find out. Okay. Six cards left. <clears throat> Do I attack here? Uh, four, five. Sacrifice another creature or enchantment. It gets plus one, plus one menace. Yeah, oh, that guy's problematic. Two, Don't two. get hit by it. You know, I'm going to try not to. I don't think we're going to attack here. Man, you're going crazy. I really just want the Acolyte. Ugh. Ugh. Can't keep that, man. That's Garbo. Right, but then I go down to five, and my my chances of winning this game... They're already down the toilet, man. Really? They might as well flush all the way. God, you're a real shitbag. No. All right, they have one card in hand. That's pretty good for us. So this is a four or five, six. They can, they can sack three of these to make it a seven, which is pretty brutal. Doesn't that give devotion? Yeah, it gives us one devotion, which is still put us at one, two, three, four, which is not enough. How much you need? Five. Close. You know how we know how much devotion single color gods need. Come on. Are single colors always five? Yeah. Huh. You Momo. So double colors are always seven. Yep. I mean, so far. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be like that for the rest of time, but the rest of time. <clears throat> what if they made it like one? Man, what if? Can you imagine? That'd be crazy. What a time to be alive, my dude. I'm the Pied Piper. Look at me. Are you just gonna sack that dude? Cool. I guess I'll go to three. It is Wacky Wednesday, my dudes. I'm actually more interested in the life gain from the thing next turn, you know what I mean? Yeah, that'll help. And I don't want to even crack this because, like, I think we're actually going to draw it. We'll play it. Oh, they have to discard their card? That's pretty cool. Oh, they're just going to play it to make me take a point from this. 
cool. That's super cool that they just drew an instant. <clears throat> oh, but then they're going to draw a card and they have to discard it, so that's kind of good, I guess. No Unless Hungry Howies in Utah either. We're going to need new food memes. This is rough, man. No Hungry Howies, no Wawa. There's no Carabas. There's no Magianos. Magianos like an hour and a half away, I think, or something ridiculous. The Carabas was. It's rough. It's a long trip for Carabas. Let me guess. You play the... Yeah, you, of course you drew an instant. <laughs> sure, dude. There's a cat in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. I'm the Pad Michael. You going farther back in there? Well, now we're just dead on board, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> nope, don't want that. Yeah, all right, cool. We're just like we just can't draw anything. Like we got one. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands in play. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just three more lands, plus, like, we had a million filtering cards. <sighs> Where's your other color? That's a good question. I think we just didn't play it. I mean, I almost want to board these in because they didn't have a ton of creatures, but the creatures they had are all decent. <laughs> Mormons hate Hungry Howies. Is that true? What is this? Whenever you cast an aura, I don't even think that's great here, to be honest with you. <coughs> All we have is an aspect. We have uh, Ichthyomorphosis, and we have... Fish. Iro's Blessing. Fish change, you mean? Oh, and almost stars. We have one. Oh, it's on creature you control, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's rough. Because then we only have... We only have Iro's, we have Aspect, and, we ha and that's pretty much it, I think. I hated Chicago when I moved here. I'm a native New Yorker, and Deep Dish Pizza is garbage. No, Man, Chicago Deep Dish is real good, dude. I love New York style pizza. It's definitely my my number one preferred pizza. But also, don't Chicagoans don't eat deep dish much? They eat like the thinner circle ones, cut into squares. Isn't that more of their thing? Well, that's their thin crust. Circle cut into squares. Well, you know, circle takes a square, Michael. So. If you just get over the fact that deep dish isn't really the same thing as like normal pizza, yeah. If you look at it as good, if you look at it as pizza and you're like, this is competing with my pizza, then it's like, all right, well maybe you have an issue, but like. But if you look at it as like a delicious cheese and casserole, tomato casserole, which is delicious. I do like a good Detroit Detroit style as well. Distritz. Distritz. I like the good of Distritz, huh? I don't think there's a two mana counter spell that they can have here, so I'm just gonna hope that our dog resolves. Is that cat still in there? Oh, God damn. Cat in a box. Cat in a box. That's my... I, I can see this just winning the game here, actually, if they don't have an answer for it. But they'll have an answer for it, so that's okay. God, my negative... It's, I don't even know if it's a negativity. I think it's pessimism. Which I guess can be construed as negativity, but I don't think it's exactly the same. It's, is it still negativity when it's true every single time? <laughs> it's like I didn't even get to attack once with this guy. Oh, Lord. I'm the Pied Piper, Michael B. It's not negativity if they're actually going to kill your guy. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever gone outside and got to call on the Rat Train? Yeah, shake that cup. Shake that. Sweating bullets. What? Sweating bullets? Mm -hmm. Would you say that's what you're doing? No. Then why, why would you say that? Oh, got him with the old fish change. Oh, that's interesting. 
Yeah, you can probably win with the stars this, I imagine. Is it Jennifer loses all the other... Is it Jennifer is an enchantment and loses all of the card types? What is that? No, I don't think so. I don't think that works. It's not losing its abilities. It's just losing the card types. Does it lose aura? That doesn't make any sense, right? <clears throat> I don't get all the differences you people are saying about pizza. Pizza is pizza. I would eat the same as long as it has four kinds of cheese and tomato <laughs> sauce. What does that mean? Oh, that's because Mark's from Brazil, though. He doesn't care about all our pizza differences in, in America. He's like, bro, you got cheese and sauce? What problem is? That's what I'm saying. I feel you. I don't need to hate one kind of pizza. I just love them all. Sicilian. Well, you, it's called Sicilian, right? Oh, now I say it right and you're going to make fun of me anyway? <laughs> no, I, you, I say it right, you make no, fun of me. Right. I say it wrong, you make fun of no, me. No, you're right. That's fair. <laughs> Deep Dish, Detroit, New York. I think that's all of them. New all good. Detroit, New York. Except for like hand tossed dominoes. That's not good. Hand tossed dominoes. And God forbid someone put pineapple on a pizza. Fight me. <laughs> See, either everyone's either in the camp of really likes pineapple on pizza or they're in the camp of you are not allowed to put pineapple on pizza. There's no in-between, I think. Wait, what? Did they mess up? Where did they shoot? Did they shoot our face? What have is it? Oh, it's each opponent. All right, it's not the creature. Okay. Pineapple on pizza? Yikes, that's a no for me. We found it, people. That's the line. Uh, even Mark can't be, get good with pineapple nice, pizza. Nice, nice. See, this is what happens when normal human beings who haven't actually heard of pineapple on pizza hear about it for the first time. It's just a jarring of, of food preference that, that normal people, when exposed to it for the first time, cannot accept. And rightfully so. Because it's a little too sweet to be on a pizza. Pepperoni can even make me big. Jesus, how, why would you need that many meats on your pizza? Oh, God, that sounds... So you got pepperoni, salami, which is kind of like pepperoni, candied bacon, Cana which is... Canadian bacon? Oh, Canadian meat? bacon, which is ham, and then pineapple? Man, that's crazy. That's just too many meats, man. A problem with too many toppings on pizza is, like, you start to lose the cheese flavor, you know? Wait, what? Does it say sacrifice on a creature? Oh, an ench or an enchantment, sure. Uh, two, three, huh? Sure, I'll block because if we draw our acolyte, I don't want to be able to get this guy back. So we can play this guy, and our opponent literally draws their card next turn, and it just straight up dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've drawn eight lands to their four lands. Not, I guess we mill, we mill the land too. Oh boy. This is round two or round one? This is round one, right? Jesus, thank goodness. My opinion on pineapple and pizza is like, <clears throat> I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I usually avoid it. Like, it's not really worth it. I try to think of individual components. Like, would you dip a piece of pineapple in marinara sauce and eat it like that? No. And I definitely wouldn't. Right. Like, that's just a jarring taste, and it doesn't sound good. So, like, when I think about it on pizza, even though you're adding cheese and you're adding salty meats, I'm just like, still no. Like, eh. If someone hand me a slice of pizza with pineapple, would I eat it? Probably. I wouldn't. Would I order it? I have no, no I would like, never order it. I'm not so hard-pressed for food that I need to eat things that I don't enjoy just because they're given to me for free. Pepperoni and salami are, I mean, they're both a cured meat, but, like, they're very different. 
four, five, then one, two, three, four, five. That's actually that's not bad. No, this is six though. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, yeah, we'd actually be short, and then that guy would just die immediately. I scramble cooked ramen noodles in my eggs. Isn't that that's basically just fried rice, right? <laughs> Except with ramen, fried ramen. Yeah, eggs are good in ramen. Uh, let's death this guy, I guess. I'll let you put another starlight mantle on your guy. Cheese does go with everything. Well, cheese is a kind of meat. Is it a tasty treat? Oh, good. Just they just counter. Wait, wait, what? Twice X. But I have that. They done goofed. They forgot about your dude. Why didn't they? That yeah, they forgot about your dude. Though, I think that was a two for one. <clears throat> that was a solid two for. What were you keeping that one up for, man? Uh, they probably just didn't think they had to pay it. Always overpay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I mean, we guys can play both of these guys, right? This guy becomes a, a one-one, which is rough. But then it starts doing some work, right? And then we can also play this guy. Wait. Oh, it's a two-two. Fuck! I can't do that. It's not a five-five. That's sad. The next guy goes down to a one-one, and hope they just don't kill it, which they will. They will. Oh, they just bounced it. Okay, well we're at eight, so I guess like our odds of surviving are low. No man, you got this. You only got a three three and a two two. And another three three. So I go to three. That seems bad. I don't think I need this guy anymore. Unfortunately, we're just going to draw the red card. Watch, you ready? Oh, it wasn't a red card. Four, five, six, one, two. It's not looking good for our hero. So this guy becomes a three, three, and then a two, two, huh? Yep. Yep, untap himself. Look at that, he's so helpful. <laughs> yep, give that guy. And we're dead. I love I love cheese, but fruit does not combine. I saw people eating cheese fondue, jamming grapes, and other. I oh, dude, I think the same thing. Yep. All right, that guy's dead. All right, this card seems much better because you can sack enchantments, which is interesting. There's a lot of red cards and black cards that that interact with enchantments, and I'm just not used to that being a thing. Like I'm just not used to red cards being able to. Uh, interact with enchantments in any meaningful way, whether it's sacrificing them or... Yep, cool. 
All right, so let's try again. I'm going to actually uh, go back to my deck, change my deck. Um, what? What is this? What? <laughs> uh, edit deck. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of this. I think this is a lot worse than I gave it credit for. I'll just play another freak as libation, I guess. Pizza was invented by the Pizzadonians in the ancient times. Everybody knows that. It's true. How's your energy? How are you feeling? Energized. Are you? I'm not sleepy anymore. Wow. It only took essentially. Wow. I took the equivalent of three cups of coffee. Wait, what? You said a cup of coffee had 90... It's, not, it's 95, I guess. Is that what you looked up? No, someone in the chat said, and I think they're right. So okay. So this is 300, so that's, you know, 3.17 or whatever. 3.17. It's good math. I'll keep this in. Should I just leave Mike's head up like this, guys? <laughs> is that better for the content or worse for the content? Okay, now it's definitely worse. <laughs> uh, you don't know. You don't know. Well, it's worse for me. So I know. Oh, you're so selfish, man. Is that selfish? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what the people wanted. Guys, do you want me to leave Mike's head up or remove Mike's head? What's the verdict in the... Uh... Share the, the mic, man. All right. There you go. <laughs> now you just get to stay. Yeah, that's good. Check yourself out. Here's got a weird swoop thing going on. What's this? What's this one hair that's going yeah, all? Yeah, I know. The... See, it's like. Why don't you put it back so that it's not? Oh man. Mike, trim your eyelashes a bit, man. What the swoop happen? I'm gonna trim my eyelashes. Trim them. I ought to do that. Trim them. I ain't never trim my eyelashes, and I ain't starting now. Start right now. Cause what if I trim it off and accidentally? Then I have none. Well, then I'd wonder why you weren't trimming off on purpose. Oh, where the glasses? You're right. My bad. Is that better? God, look at that. Now you can enhance. God, he gets, I bet he gets all the ladies. What's up, ladies? Fathers, lock up your daughters. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael. Dr. Love is in the house. Oh, these glasses look funny, but they're not great to look through. Yes, that's why I don't use them as much. Although they are the longest standing Kerwit meme that has ever happened in the. Well, because the other ones, like, I don't want to wear a long sleeve shirt, man. Long sleeve shirt, man. I was called long sleeve shirt man once. Not to be confused with Jimmy Shirtman, who is uh, too handsome, locking the daughter room, cutting the internet. There's a daughter <laughs> room? That's what it says. I'm just quoting it. Mark, you have a whole room for... Oh, look. How nice. Were you going to say you have a whole room for your daughter? I would hope so. I don't think he has a daughter, though. You don't know. Oh, he brought my daughter's room. He just probably brought this. That's fine. I get it. You think this is going to work? No. Hey, if they had removal, wouldn't they just kill this last turn? I feel like attacking for five seems good, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> Cutting the internet. Yeah, well, how come you guys don't have internet? Because Mike was just too handsome. He was just too handsome. Uh, I'm just gonna wait back. I'm gonna hold it back. And the next time we can play enemy, the enemy of my enemy is my enlightened mint. 
What's your favorite kind of mint, Michael? Mine is enlightened mint. I didn't know there was more than one kind. I there was just mints. I'm sorry, what? Spearmint? Peppermint? Really? You didn't know there were more than one kind What's of mint? between a spearmint and a peppermint? I don't know, man. What am I looking at? A fucking mint expert? It tastes expert? all the mint. It's all it tastes like is mint. Oh, that's a good draw. All right, so now I feel like we're doing what our deck wants to be doing rather than what our opponent wants to be doing. Oh, God, they're just going to kill this guy? Oh, they're just going to make more 1-1s. One -ones. Jesus, they have no cards in hand. But now they're going to draw... Okay, they're scrying during the upkeep. They're going to find something that hits this guy. They're going to pump their gentleman. It's going to be a bloodbath. Also, Freak's Libation is interesting. Scry. When they have four... By interesting, do you mean terrible? It's not good. Okay, that's not good either, though, so... Synapse is a healthy alternative to energy drink that goes beyond energy. Maybe I should get some. Wait, what? This is... Each player discards a card. That's much worse than I thought it was. You can ring my bee. Ring my I didn't know you had an energy sponsor. Well. Cool story, bro. That wasn't a story. Exactly. Hunter Doggo. What you doing? Aims it in. Scooping boot it's. Booting do 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 it's. Michael B. Lives in the tree. Taking this guy. Putting him in the trash can. God, he's a cutie. He is a cutie. I know. Okay, I'll pet you. Every time I stop petting you, you just, you just make me do it again. Damn, boy, he going wide. Damn, boy, he thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn, boy. Now that sweet Michael Bees, really, really, you didn't kill my five five, you killed my dirt burgle. Taking part of the stream with you? Taking part of the stream oh, with back. you. Okay. Well, that didn't take long. Didn't it? Hunter, I got so much hair of you on me. I got hair of you on me. That's the name of my country hit single. Hair of you on me. I got your... Put a girl in it. Remember that song? From last that song night? was terrible. It was really bad. <laughs> this guy got any... It's like this is the most generic country song I've ever heard. It's not good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Well, this guy's got to go. Draw two drop. Well, that's fine. This seems like a good combination. I agree with y you. I was like, oh my god, what are they going to do? They have no cards. But then... They still had no cards. They still had no cards. We get to scry two next turn. All right, five five. We got Bane Slayer Thank on board. You. Bill Brown, the resub, forty three months, my dude. Thank you so much, Bill. Really appreciate it, man. That's almost like four years, my dude. Bill, that's such a good amount of time. Build your own Bane Slayer. Bill Brown, your own Bane Slayer. Bill, what? Huh? Oh, I got it. What? Buddy, I'm at 17. What is it, 6, 79, 10 damage? That's a lot of damage. What we got here? Bottom and bottom. Two lands in a row. Bottom huh? and bottom. How about a third bottom. land in a row? And bottom. Sounds and good. It. Sounds good. <sighs> oh, crap. 
so 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We gain 5, so we actually die if we attack here. Pretty comical. Pretty, pretty comical. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, buttery biscuits. 4, 6, 7, 8. I guess we're blocking the... Is this XL2 or 3? Okay, so we can block here. I guess I'll just block this. If we block this, actually, our guy dies because it deals 2 damage to a creature or a planeswalker. Yep. Yeah, you definitely alpha here. Oh, we actually, if we block here, they our guy dies, so that sucks. Yep, that's pretty sad. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to eleven. So if we literally block here, we take exactly enough to kill us. That's, that's actually hilarious. Yep. Guess we're just blocking here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Go to three. Wow. I thought we were doing really well this game because of our five-five flyer with lifelink, but it turns. <laughs> So just to be oh, fair, you scried two lands at the bottom, drew a yeah, land, and drew, drew two land. lands. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, libation seems rapid flame seems decent. Libation seems bad. Yep. The uh, yeah, the Sultai deck with twenty seven lands could not draw more than one land, more than like three lands, and the. Uh, this 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 deck uh, drew four. Oh, it's actually four lands in a row because it was scryed two to the bottom, draw land, draw land. So uh, I don't know what's what, what can uh, what can you do? I guess I don't know. Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm a Michael B in your bonnet. It's a Michael B in the do doos. I thought that was a fart. Did you hear that? It sounded nope. like a... It was just a hunter. Well, it could have been a hunter fart. Well, it wasn't. At okay, don't you don't have to was. yell. Was I yelling? I don't know what you were doing, man. I don't know you. That was a good draw. Did you see that draw? Will it matter, though? What? Will it matter, though? <laughs> no. What seems improbable? You old salty dog, you. A Michael, a mutual bee house in your soul. Ooh, Phenylia. I like that we can play this if, if we draw land next turn. In before no land next turn. But what if you do? I will Well, with that attitude. With any attitude. You're hiding behind the microphone? Yeah, man. I'm hiding behind the microphone. Look at me. See? No, no I can't see you because you're hiding. Exactly. Why would you ask me if I could see? There it is. There, there's a... That's what's known as a lack of a land. Build a little birdhouse in your soul. It's a birdhouse. What song is that? A song by people. <laughs> your people sound like idiots, Michael. Wow. Do I just want the Nylia? Probably. I mean, it's a god. It'll never be online, but... That's such is life, right? God online. Well. Oh, boy. I guess I'm blocking with a goat instead of taking five. 
Give me the goat. Give me the goat. What does that mean? Just give me the goat and you don't have to worry about it. I, mean, I still worry about it, you know? Put a little goat house in my soul. Look at this. Look at this this human this look at this creature fish. Creature fish. What's your feeling how on how the escape on the escape mechanic? Should I stock up on a million black light lines before they spike back up? Or is, I don't think there's I don't think I don't think escape's gonna cause any ripples. I don't think it's that powerful. Man, cracking this during your main phase? That's interesting. I mean there's some good escape cards, but like Get an F for one. You got it. Well, we can still activate this, which is kind of cool. You fall asleep? Hmm? Are you falling asleep? Every minute of every day. What about right now? No. But okay. yes. Were you really? I mean, in a way. What does that mean? No, I wasn't falling asleep. God. In a way, <laughs> you know. Look, I'm now we're all have... falling asleep. Eventually, Frank. Well, yeah, but right now. No. Okay. <laughs> oh God! Look at that! I gained a life to activate Man. this. Oh, and we just drew a friggin' bird. Who cares about that? Who cares about the three-four flyer? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. One, two, three, four. I do. That's good. Remember, it costs one less. Uh huh. So that means I can still activate the Nylia. Put a little birdhouse in your soul. Yeah, five cards is actually a lot to 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 escape those Titans. I mean, they're great. The Titans are good because the card on the face when you just cast them for their two mana or three mana casting cost is still good, but um. Five man has a lot to ask for. Or five cards in the graveyard. So I mean they're not gonna be you're not gonna be playing them that frequently, but Hmm. Say I'm the Michael B in your bonnet. I ate that dude. He did. Uh, when there's a battlefield, returning number of aura cards from your gear to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. XL those auras at the beginning of your next. Sure. You got it, dude. So long, witness of tomorrow. Good work. Four. Okay, so this is just a 3-2 now. That's unexciting. Oh, cool. Okay, okay.
I'll take three. God, Hunter's just licking himself back there. No, he does have a licking problem. He does. Oh, Jesus, you got this guy too? Well, that guy's a <sighs> Rare, rare. Protection for mana costs other than two, and we have a 1-1 one, one for two, so we can just block it. Are rare. 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 No, I guess I'll keep that. <coughs> nope, you can go in the trash can. One, two, three. Keep looking, I guess. Oh, good. Yeah, you can cast that. Not right now, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. You sure can. Well, I'd rather block. But you can untap it. I'm sure that won't be relevant. Oh, wait, yes, it will. Oh, fuck you, shut up. Oh, God. You're right. I'm sure this is going to be something. <coughs> yep, that's fine. Oh, does this guy have to attack a return? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just blocking it, sure. That was actually pretty decent then. All right, well. Would have liked... Oh. Now we're talking. Puppy, 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 dog. Burr, 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 burr. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can just play this guy as well. They're going to have three cards, so it's going to be a 2 2. Or we could just keep up Final Death. I kind of like keeping up Final Death here. Are you kidding me? With what? The final death count. Whoa. Oh, are they going to play this and crack it? Aggressive. Frank, I'm gonna need something more to spend my channel. Is there is there things I can do with channel points? Can I make them into things? Hmm. Let's get in there with my puppy dog. Here comes the puppy dog. That was good. That was a good contribution. Two, two, three. I thought it was. Are they trying to block with that guy? Come on. Okay. <laughs> oh, classic never don't have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. This idiot. Actually, I should have kept the land in hand. That was really stupid. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I mean, we're discarding this anyway. Maybe we just find a creature that we like less, I guess. Yeah, I'll take three because this guy's just going to get worse. This dog seems great, but like it's been terrible in practice every single time, unfortunately. <sighs> One, two, three. 
Um, three, four, five. Actually, that seems better. Because we get to kill pretty much anything we want. All right, that seems fine. Get rid of one. Actually, that's not terrible. Um, it only kills three, though. I'd much rather play the cat of Bleepus. Bleepus. Cattle bleepus. Cattle bleepus, Demasi. What? What are you saying right now? I don't know what you just said. Then you'll never know. What if I know? Can I? What? I, huh. There's a Katamari Demasi reference. I don't know what that is. It's a game where you roll around a in giant a ball? ball. Yeah. All right. I'm banking my chat points for a rainy day. Well, someone has to. It's the cattle bleep. Bliss, -da -da -da. Mike is talking in his sleep again. <laughs> Alright, let's activate you. Ugh, you don't do anything. I really like to keep this because I don't want to die, but. Dying I, seems bad. I agree. One, two, three. We can't cast it this turn anyway, so I might as well get rid of it. Draw a card. That's terrible. But I might as well play it. It adds one to your devotion. Oh, that's cool, actually. <laughs> Is that enough? I think so. Oh, it's not. Dang it. All right, they have no cards in hand. So if they don't draw something that kills me this turn, then we win. Oh, by God, we won a game, ladies and gentlemen. We're the best magic players. Oh, that wasn't have... even the match, just a game. I know. Oh, it's rough. I know. It's okay. We're getting there. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's just hard to figure out this format. Like, what's good? I don't know. The, the decks we're playing, not those. <laughs> that seems to be the theme. DM Harnack, thanks for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it. I don't know if that's true, but I appreciate it. Also, you know, you said the dog was not good in practice. Yeah. Told you. Did you? I said the dog wasn't great. Like, it's just a 3 3. It's got Vigilance, Menace, and Lifelink, and it prevents all the escape shenanigans. Just shut up. But. Again, it's still just a three, three. Michael, why don't you take your catablepus and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> like, if it had flying, then I'd be on board, but it don't. What if it had shadow? That would be very good. Yeah, but he can't block then, so then it's like, oh, well, this is awkward. Shadow and vigilance is a weird combination. What if it had first strike? Yeah, that's true, because, like, what are you blocking? <laughs> if it had first strike, it would be the nut. Would it be the nutter butters? It'd be up there. Oh, if we can draw one temple of, of triumph, that'd be great. This format feels like mono boggle strategy. Yeah, kind of. What's your boggle? Name that movie. I can't. Stupid idiot. It's probably Jurassic Park or <laughs> something like that. Mike's like, if you made a quote and I can't get it, it's probably Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's from Demolition Man, Michael. Well, this is a good start, so. All I know about that movie is that all ta restaurants are Taco Bell. All restaurants are Taco Bell. Then Shadow and Vigilance is useful. That's true, because then you can tap your guy afterwards. God, look at Brett finding those corner cases, man. What a maniac. Cool. It was not cool. Well, that gives us the white we need next turn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I guess we take six in the process. For them to poop on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This last card is going to be the enchantment that deals four. This is unreal. <laughs> like, we're two, two is... 
two oh two and one two finishes this this fucking this day. It's it's real not ideal. But even if we kill this guy, we still we block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they can pump this guy once. Like we just can't deal with three of these guys. Even with our dog. One, two, three, one, so two, three. So dog takes you to ten. Yeah, but like, okay, so we block the biggest guy. We go to 10, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They can pump this guy once. Like, we're still just playing around like one trick. That's a good point. Yeah, the dog gains life, but this gets rid of, this gets rid of, this gets rid of a creature and, and gives us a blocker. This just gives us a blocker and gains us life. So it's like they're basically negating two creatures each. Also, this is better if they have a removal spell, right? Well, either way is pretty bad. One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to one here, I guess. I'm like, there's nothing. We, I don't think there's anything we can do. If we can draw a red source or a white source, like we can play both of these, which is not terrible, but. Yep, yeah, gotta block the guy that can deal three. And. Go to one. <laughs> well, we did not draw it. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> this format is miserable, man. One, two, oh, two, and drop from the league. Thank you guys for watching again. Unfortunately, this deck looked fun, but it was not. So, uh, hopefully. I, I don't know, man. This, this format's weird. I, I feel like I've faced a ton of different decks. They always have the answer. And um, I have, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought I boarded out those Freakas, Fabrikas. Fabrikas? Did I not board those out? Because they were pretty bad. Maybe that was round one. I don't even know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We're going we're gonna to start playing different formats now. I don't know how many, how many drafts I'm going to do with this set. Because in the first, this is what, one, two... Three, four. This is like six drafts I've done. And I've just like, I think my records are like, one two o oh, two, two one, o oh, two one two o oh, two. It's just absolutely horrendous. My records are absolutely horrendous in this format, and I have no idea why because it's not uh, typically not indicative of of. I don't know. That's weird. It's very weird. Yeah, it's super. It's super weird. Yeah, the green-white deck was super sweet, and then I still ended up not being able to 3-0. I still ended up losing in the last round to, like, my opponent just gaining a million life with their 5-5, I think, or some some ridiculous scenario. Like, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on twitch.tv slash franklepore, patreon.com slash franklepore. You can also uh, subscribe now on YouTube uh, in order to support the channel additionally in addition to uh, in, t in addition to the other ways. And check out coolstuffinc.com. I had a new article go up today called has standard lost its luster and i'd like you guys to check it out and let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching